General Manager Ebo Trans in the Naigwe assumes office, pledges effective commitment and improved services in the corporation. The Boeing State Transport Corporation, Ebotrans, has welcomed its newly appointed General Manager, Mrs. Nena J. Iwe, marking a historic moment as the first female to lead the corporation after several men active management. Mrs. Igwe's appointment was confirmed by Boeing State Governor Francis Obonawinfuro during an executive council meeting two weeks ago, followed by the elevation of the former acting General Manager, Dr. Simon Ideng, to the position of permanent secretary on transport. In address to the staff and general public, Mrs. Nen Naigwe expressed gratitude to Governor Winfrew and his wife, Chief Mary Mundlin Uzamaka Winfrew, for the opportunity given her to serve. She emphasized the commitment to upholding the governor's vision in transforming Ebotrans into a leading transport company in Nigeria. She described the opportunity as honor and privilege to lead the corporation. I earnestly thank the Almighty God for His grace and unmerited favor given to me. Also, in a very special way, I wish to appreciate my destiny helpers, His Excellency Right Honorable Francis Obona Wufu and his amiable wife, Chief Mrs. Mary Modlin Ozamako Obona Wufu the mother of the state, Akugo Awawa, a one one of her born states, for finding me worthy of this unmerited position. Forever remain indebted to you for this unmerited favor given to me and my family. Mrs. Igwe assured for her dedication to make Ebotrans one of the best transport companies in Nigeria. She appreciated the people-oriented governor of Ebony State, Right Honorable Francis Obonawifu, for his commitment to making Ebotrans a world-class transport company by purchasing 20 brand new Hayes buses for the company, including other numerous interventions. The people-oriented governor of Ebony State, Right Honorable Builder Francis Obonawifu, for his commitment to make Ebotrans a world-class transport company by purchasing 20 brand new hires buses for the company, including other numerous interventions. As the new general manager of this great company, I want to assure you of my total commitment to position Ebotrans as one of the best transport company in Nigeria. I will work harmoniously with all the management and staff of this company to actualize the vision of our dear governor in reviving able trans to meet the transport needs of our people. She equally added that our administration will focus on expanding the operation of the company across all 36 states, the federal capital territory, and as well prioritizing accountability, safety, customer care, and affordability. In driving this initiative, I will ensure accountability, good maintenance of the vehicles, and equally embark on training and retraining of our drivers in order to guarantee the safety of our passengers. We, we shall also introduce our new routines across the 36 states and the federal capital territory, Abuja. Our service will be on account, account on integrity, safety concern, customer care, and accountability. The outgoing general manager, Dr. Simon Ideni, who also doubles as the permanent secretary on inter-party affairs, advised the new general manager to work diligently with the management team in order to change her program of activities if she really wants to be successful in office, that the office activity is taxing and all important in all times. The moment you go against the wish of the management, nothing seems to move because some of them have stayed over 20 years in this place and they know the intricate cobwebs of people trans. I want to implore our madam here that I have handed over this is Nena Igwe to work seriously with the management. Anytime you give gap to management, you start having problems. And again is that uh, when you change your program of activities, if you have any other thing you are doing, cancel it or hand it over to another person. Because we wake up here 
like myself, I wake up one o'clock in the midnight. I will use my phone and distribute the itinerary of the next day job. I go back and sleep. By four o'clock, I'm already at the depot, one of the depots. I will do supervision until all the vehicles will leave. I go back to the house and back and come back here. And we have no closing hour. Also speaking, the administrative manager, Mrs. Nebe Beatrice, expressed optimism about Mrs. Igwe's leadership, stating that her strong foundation in faith and her commitment to excellence would guide the corporation to new heights. I am here as the uh, admin manager of this great corporation to tell her that we deeply welcome her. I and the entire staff, we say welcome her. And we are assuring you that we are going to assist you in every area to, to achieve the aim of His Excellency. Notwithstanding, the operational manager, Mr. Obiahu Innocent, also pledged full support and highlights the historic nature of our appointment as the first female general manager of the corporation. I to sincerely tell you that this is the first female general manager and the number 17 general manager that we have had. I believe that there is a reason God chose her to be here. There are so many things that the general managers have done. They have all done well. But I believe that there is a special reason that God brought her to Evotrust. Drivers are difficult to handle. But drivers in Evotrust are not difficult. Because this very place is a government business place. It's not like other uh, transport corporations that maybe you will just move. Nobody will be monitoring you. Praise the Lord. In Evotrust here, with her position as the general manager of Evotrans, any vehicle that is traveling from here, probably to Abuja, she can sit on her comfortable zone, read all the conversation in the vehicles. Even if the vehicles, the passengers are eating at Lokoja, she will know where the vehicle stops. Even if that the vehicle branch, uh, a filling station to fuel, she can sit here and they monitor all the movement of every Evotran vehicles. I think with that, nobody will come to tell her story. Some dignitaries who were present, including the chairman of the local government area, represented by the vice chairman, Philomena Ekechi, the APC women leader, Mrs. Quindalene Mwigwe, and other officials made their goodwill messages and expressed confidence in Mrs. Igwe's ability to lead Ebotrans into a brighter future. Doing what she knows how to do very well. And I want to assure you, and I want to thank you, that the woman that has been appointed has the capacity to represent us. Thanks to His Excellency for finding us worthy. We are grateful. The APC Manifesto will always tell you that we are bound on women's visibility. You know that all the workers in this corporation, you will not have any other option but to work in peace and unity with her. Reverend Father Kenneth Nome, during the office dedication service, encouraged Mrs. Igwe to remain humble and focused on her responsibility and remind her that if God is for us, nobody can be against us. He urged his staff to support the new general manager and work as team to ensure her success. If every person should cooperate with her in this work given to her, place will stand well and she's going to succeed. So I enjoy all the staff here to try to be there for her to do their work very well so that she will succeed. And the governor who called her to come and take over this place as a GM, we're proud of her and we're proud of this cooperation. We also ask God to bless the governor, Governor Francis Mu and his family. Mass of dedication, in this mass we are dedicating our office, the office of the GM, this is mainly going to the house of God because without God we cannot succeed. And God will be with her and we know when God is with us, nobody can be against us. By the help of God, she will succeed. 
And even from this position, the Lord will come out to push her from glory to glory. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. A brief tour was taken by new general manager and management members around the corporation's properties. Note, the Airbus Trans is the only transportation company owned by the state government and it was established by the first civilian governor of Ebuin State, Dr. Sam Egu. And it was not effectively oppositional within the time of two civilian governors in office. But now, Governor Francis Obona Winfrew said it is time to reposition the corporation for effective use for the benefits of Ebonians and Nigerians at large. Thanks for watching and stay tuned. Benita will say the Mirror TV. For your product or business adverts, live documentary, project works, or social cultural events, please call us on 081651919486. The Mirror TV, we stand to give you the best.